Okay, I'm gonna take you guys outside for the video today because it's not freezing out here. It's definitely not nice, but it's not freezing, so that's good. Um, today, I have to run to the store very shortly and buy a pack of dip for the man because he's out of dip and he'll want some when he wakes up, so I'm gonna run and grab some. Um, I also have to fold that laundry that's on the couch. <laughs> because guess who didn't do it yesterday? Me. So, I'll fold it today. Um, my goal for today though, what I really want to get done is I want to get my compost pile back up and working. Um, right now it's just a pile of kitchen scraps outside <laughs> with some sticks. That's pretty much what it is. So I need to get it mixed up and working again. We're standing here because I'm hoping that my hummingbird friend comes and says hello while we're here. But he may not. He's kind of shy sometimes. Um, but yeah, I figured I would... Scroll back to the compost pile real quick while I'm talking and show y'all my awful compost pile. And I guess the hummingbird isn't coming, so we'll go ahead and start making that walk. Um, the boy has a... Uh, I have to watch for dog poo-poo in the yard. <laughs> the boy has a birthday party today. And I actually received notification of said birthday party before the day of the party. Like, he told me on Thursday. And the party Saturday. I had so much notification. That's like not normal. Normally I get told the morning of the party. Hey, I have a birthday party in an hour. Can I go? I'm like what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but whatever. He gave me early notice this time because I guess I've acted a little crazy in the past when he didn't. And he gave me notification. All right, here's my garden right now. It looks like poop. So let's just not even look there. It's not that bad, but whatever. We're getting to the compost pile. Now, right now I have it covered with the tarp, kind of, because it rains a lot here and compost piles aren't supposed to um, get warmer, not warmer. They're not supposed to get more wet than a damp sponge. So, um, I put the cover on it. Also, I put the brown side out so that the most heat would be reflected back to the compost pile. Thought maybe it would insulate a little bit. I don't think it did anything, but that's okay. It kept the water off. This is the compost pile. There's a mighty slug. Look how big that thing is. Good lord. That's not even, like he's not even stretched out either. That's just like basic slug size. That's not even what he can be. Anyhow, okay. Um, compost pile. Here it is. There's my radishes from last year. Oh yeah, see that's that's the problem right now. <laughs> I have been just throwing kitchen scraps on this and not actually covering it like I should. So it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. So I need to flip that. I need to flip it because the bottom's good. It's just the top isn't. So, need to flipping flip. compost piles is not easy. <laughs> Who knew? It's uh, it's heavy, you know? And, God, it's hard just to get this top back on. Um, so, I haven't done it yet because it's really hard. And I'm just not that strong, you know? So, well, that's crap. That'll be fine. Um, I want to get that flipped. I need to get it flipped. I need a little bit of help. So I'm going to see if I can snatch the boy before he goes to his little birthday party and get him to help me flip this. <sighs> but who knows? Maybe I'll be able to do it on my own. While we're here though, I'll go ahead and we can do a little peek of the garden that I've been ignoring all winter. Um... So all that there, that's carrot seeds that never, like they started, but they never thinned themselves out. So they just kind of, yeah. Anyhow, these, that's all like romaine and different lettuces. Um, 
that are really just done. They're just done. I just haven't pulled them up. Here are some Brussels sprouts that I planted late last season that um, have been enjoyed by the cabbage moths, worms, all winter long. There's one. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, I think that's a carrot. Let's see. Let's see. Ah. Oh, yep. Look at that. Little baby carrot. Its greens were done, so we'll pull that out of there. <laughs> Looks like there's another one right there. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how cute that is. <laughs> That's how they make baby carrots. <laughs> Little surprise carrot. The greens just didn't, my greens got eaten, so carrots didn't do too well this year. That's okay though. There's next year, or this year now. It's my little perennial garden. It's not really doing much, but that's because everything is too cold. All right, here are my garlics. Pretty sure I planted them back in October. Um, if they're hard neck or soft neck, garlic, because what these garlic are, um, is they're, they're from the grocery store. What I did was I had a pack of garlic that I put in my pantry and forgot about. <laughs> and it sat in the very back of my pantry and got all dried out. And so when October rolled around, everyone was talking about planting garlic and I'm cheap. Like I'm I'm crazy cheap. Like, if I see a t-shirt at the store that I like and it's over $20, I'll put it back because that's expensive. <laughs> so anyhow, um, because I'm so cheap, I decided to raid my pantry and use the garlic that was in my pantry since it was all dried up. I couldn't use it, right? I didn't want to throw it away. Everyone online said, don't do that. Oh my gosh, if you eat the, the grocery store garlic has been treated to not sprout. The grocery store garlic isn't good. The grocery store garlic won't grow. Well, guess what? It's <laughs> growing. I want to say I put 16 cloves in. Let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So obviously I didn't put 16 in. <laughs> that I put in. I don't remember how many I put in. So, but I've got plenty. I've got 22 little garlic things going. And I'd say for some uh, garlic from the grocery store that's been treated with sprouting stuff that won't let it sprout, I'd say that's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'm happy. We'll see how they how they continue to grow and I'll show them to y'all when I pull them this out. This little area, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. I've got the poles so I can put like little climbing things and I'll probably put some clematis. I don't know though, clematis gets so big and these are rotten poles. I pulled them out of the woods. I was thinking about doing like strawberries at the bottom because that'd be a good little spot for it, right? Strawberries. But then I got all these flower seeds and I've been debating on putting a border along where my little fence is here and planting the flowers or just using what I've already created there under that little teepee and just planting all the flowers there. I think that'd be really pretty too. What do y'all think I should do? I don't know. It, it comes down to how much work really and to do the border I'd have to clear the grass. And then really it would be, I'd have to really keep it weeded. To do the flowers in this, um, it's already ready. It, there's a few weeds in it, but it's nothing too bad. Like, really, it's, it's not bad. So, thinking I'll probably just put the flowers there. That way the pollinators are still attracted to my garden area. And there'll be something in that spot. Yeah, it's decided. I'm putting the flowers there. I'm not doing the border. Um, and the rest of the flowers will go out here. This is our drain field. I have a septic system out here because we live out in the middle. Well, not the middle of nowhere. Definitely not that. We have neighbors, but we live pretty far from everybody out here. So we don't have city water. We don't have uh, 
city sewer. We have a well and we have a septic tank. So this area is really the best area for a garden. It's on the south side of our house. If I could put something right there, oh, I'd be so happy, but I can't because that's where our septic tank is. All that area behind me just has to be yard. We've got dogs and the dogs like playing in the yard too. So that's fine. I've got my little area on the west side of the house and that's fine. You know, trees are a little tall, it shades it, but I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> but the flowers I want to plant in this area. I don't know if you could tell so much. It's actually a hill and it goes down. See, there you go, you can see it now. So I want to just cover this whole area that I'm standing on with flowers so that maybe this crap doesn't have such a chance to get going. That stuff's like thistles and they're just not as pretty as a bunch of flowers, so that's what I'm gonna do. You can see here where some coyotes have, uh, have dug. Thinking they were probably going after one of the moles in the yard. We have coyotes. We have coyotes. We have moles. We have deer. We have hawks. We have eagles. We have owls. Haven't seen a rabbit. Doesn't mean they're not around. We have squirrels. We have chipmunks. Cabbage moths. Oh, and earwigs. There's lots of things out here that try to keep me gardening. But that's okay. I'm just trying to learn to work around them, make a compromise. We'll eventually find middle ground. There's my apple tree that I'm trying to, I don't remember the word. It, it, it's where you make it like one trunk and then have a whole bunch going out from the side, up and down. But I can't remember what it's called. But I'm trying to do that to that tree because it needed some pruning. That apple tree is actually really cool. In the fall, it gets absolutely full of apples. But there's also earwigs. And so I have to deal with them. I'm going to go down here and say hello to my neighbor's chickens. Hello, chickens. Normally I have food for them, but today I don't. So they're probably going to be pretty upset with me. Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. Chicken! Where's your girlfriend, chicken? Where's your girlfriend, chicken? She has a little white girlfriend that hangs out in here too, but I don't know where she is. She's shy. The white one. Hi, chicken! I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. The neighbors were pretty brave putting this in. We saw them putting in a coop and we were like, oh, they're crazy. But they did it pretty well. They've got it so that nothing can dig under. They've got bird netting on the top. And I don't think the coyotes have got to them. We're here. Sometimes we hear the coyotes back here trying to get at them, but I don't think they've got them so far. So I guess what they've got going there is pretty, pretty decent. I'd love to have chickens eventually, but I don't know if I want that kind of responsibility. I already have a kid. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll think about it. Chickens may happen, chickens may not happen. My neighbors have some though, so hopefully this summer they'll produce enough that I'll be able to buy some from my neighbor instead of having to buy them from the store. Um, but yeah, I should go in here and get dressed. Still got a bit of coffee left to finish. Um, and I'm gonna run down there and get that dip for him so when he wakes up it's ready and there. And then maybe I can wake the boy up and see if he can get, help me flip this compost pile before he starts his day for the day. Before I go, I want to show y'all my two camellias that I recently purchased. My birthday was January 10th. This one is looking so yellow. Um, and my husband took me to the nursery and bought me these two. Whoops. There. These two camellias. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's weird. There. And there. Um, this one is doing very well. This one was a little green, uh, yellow at the nursery. 
Um, I still picked it, even though I probably shouldn't have. He looks a little yellow. Um, I knew he looked a little sick, but I still picked him because I thought that maybe he just wasn't happy at the nursery and he needed to come home with me and then he'd be happy. <laughs> I know that's stupid. I know, but that's, you know. So I bought him and I brought him home. Hopefully he'll perk up here. Um, and then I also have a little rhododendron down there. They should bloom in a couple of weeks. And they're supposed to be huge, gorgeous blooms. I've never had a camellia before. Um, but I'm excited. The pictures were very promising. And a couple there were blooming a little bit earlier than the varieties I picked. And their blooms were gorgeous. Go inside and get started getting ready and all that stuff. Run on, get the dip. Birthday party later. He bought her a box of Ferrero Rochers for her present. So, lucky girl. Um, hopefully I'll get that compost flipped. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Spread some love.